everyone welcome back to my channel so how are you i hope you all are good and i'm also good life is going well and it's absolutely fine i somehow feeling that life is somehow going very smoothly very in a good manner so i'm happy so this is the video about what i am going to read this month so what i am planning to read this month and i didn't shoot a tbr since i think um, uh, august or maybe september because i am not able to finish those books which are in my tbr so stop i stopped that but this time i am going to plan which is very realistic and i just want to complete those books which are in my tbr list so this time i pick up the books with very consciously and some of them are very small in size some of them are uh, poetry collection and some of them are which are very interesting and which i wanted to read since many days uh, since many days so uh, that's it so without further delay let's get into the video and uh, let's see what i am going to pick this month for reading journey so the first book in my list that is the bell jar okay the bell jar which is written by the sylvia plath let me see what it is because i wanted to read her book since many days because of the only one poem that poem is you might be heard about or you might be read her poem that is uh, daddy which the topic of that poem is daddy which literally broke my heart and i can't stop myself from crying crying and that poem is so good and after that i researched uh, something about uh, sylvia plath and then i got to know about her she died because of suicide and a lot of the things and her life is so dramatic so i wanted to read uh, her books so i pick up the book that is the bell jar let me see what it has the bell jar details the life of the isha greenwood a college student who dreams of becoming a poet she is selected for a month long summer internship as a guest editor of a ladies day magazine but her time in new york city is unfulfilling as she struggles with issues of identity and social norms okay it is going to i think uh, quite heavy to our mind or our soul because the when it comes to things against the social norms it affects women uh, so so badly and i really want to read her and if you didn't read her book any of i uh, recommend you to read that poem which is um, uh, daddy written by sylvia plath you can go for it that really broke your heart and that somehow uh, attached you to sylvia plath okay now the next book i wanted to read is the girl who fell beneath the sea okay this book i think this book is in my tbr uh, in my i think in my august tbr but i'm not able to finish it first of all this book is very large i think it has more than uh, 900 pages something like that at the same time i wanted to read this book by uh, paperback but somehow i'm not able to get that now i am going to read in the format of ebook and uh, here the summary says that the girl who fell beneath the sea is a feminist retelling of the korean folk story the tale of shin cheong in the original beautiful daughter sacrifice herself to see god to her help her blind father regain his sight only to be rewarded for her selflessness and return to land okay her daughter she sacrifice because she want to regain her father's eyes and it is quite a good i want to know more about this and she returned to land that is a just amazing ending so i am quite excited excited at the same time i just hope i am able to finish this book because as i said it is in my books list or it is in my reading list since some months so i want to finish this now the third book that is babel 
which is written by the author rf goa if you are a booktuber if you are a book talker if you are a book lover book worm you know rf Uh, Arif Kowang. I'm not able to spell her name. And the book I read, her, the book which I read before this Babel, that is uh, Poppy War. Poppy War. I only able to finish the first one. It has a uh, three books, I think. The I am able to finish only first one. Not able to finish second one. Let me see what it says. Babel or the ne- Babel or it is also called as the Necessity of violence. When the family of young boy named Robin Swift dies of cholera, a stern English professor takes him away from China. He arrives in an alternate Oxford, England, in eighteen twenty-eight, and is thrust into lessons in a language so that he might one day join the prestigious Royal Institute of Translation, also known as. Babel. Okay, Babel is the name of the place. And another thing is, I saw many booktubers talk about this book. Many people say that it is quite a good, ah, uh, better than the Poppy Bar. And the magic in this book is very nice. The fantasy, everything, and the world building, everything is very, um, constructive and good. So, I think I wanted to read this since um, it released. I think it released in January or December. Right? I don't remember exactly what time, but I know this is around January, January something like that. Since that, I wanted to read this, so finally it is here in my TBR. So I am going to read this and definitely going to explain this to you guys. And the next book is that Bangkok Wakes in Rain. Okay, Bangkok Wakes in Rain. Let me grab that. Okay, here it is. Okay, here it is. Ah, uh, Bangkok wakes in a rain. Is wakes to rain. Ah, uh, is a book which is written by the Vijaya Sudhanandan. I read this book one time, but I'm still still not able to pronounce their name. Especially the names of the Thais are difficult. Ah, uh, anyway. Uh, this book I finished. This book I think in January TBR I also showed this book to you. I am re-reading this book because as I told I am writing a novel which is related to Thailand and there are stories and uh, quite interesting stories in this um, book. At the same time, it has some of the essence of Thailand culture and some of the things which are related to Thailand. So I wanted to note down. First time I read, I just. Um, uh, Underline things in this book, but now I want to collect them and place in a single page so I can use them. Uh, because now I am writing a second draft, it is very useful useful to add the points from the book into my. So I am going to do that. That's why I am rereading this book. That is the back of weeks in a weeks to rain. I don't know why I am seeing weeks in the rain. It is weeks to rain, and this one is the fifth book. No, fourth book I think. Now the next book is the Tale of Two Cities. Okay, Charles Dickens, one of the famous classical author. And uh, if you are someone you are following me since six months, you know that I started to read a Pickwick Papers by Charles Dickens. But I somehow ended up not reading that book because I am not understanding that book at all. Okay, it is quite difficult. It is, and the main thing which bores me about that book is it is so heavy, so heavy. Okay, Charles Dickens is one of the great author. I think to read a Pickwick paper, to understand Pickwick paper, I have to be a uh, little bit better than now. Okay, and I have to be a little bit more bookworm than now. So I will definitely read that book once. Um, I think I am able to read this. I am able to understand that book that is Pickwick Papers. So now uh, back to the point that is the Tale of Two Cities, which is written by the Charles Dickens. Let me the Tale of Two Cities, which is written by the Charles Dickens. The novel tells the story of the French doctor Manet. He is eighteen year old, long imprisonment in Bastille. In Paris, and he is released to live in a London with his daughter Lucy, whom he had never met. Okay, his daughter Lucy, who he had never met. 
met. The story is set against the conditions that led up to the French Revolution and the Reign of Terror. Since the many days I wanted to read a, a stories which are related to the battlefield, which are related to the revolution, and there are many stories which are related to World War II. But uh, something which is not related to World War II, this is the first time which is related to the French Revolution. So I'm going to explain it because when the things or the novel go with the any battle or the any revolution, human emotions are definitely affected by that battle. Human uh, mindset is definitely affected by that battle, that war, that revolution. So at the same time, economy and social and cultural uh, revolutions, these all are changing due to the fact of battles, wars and revolution. So I'm excited to read this. Okay. Now, the next book I want to read is that Milk and Honey Poetry. Okay, this is the poem collection. As I said, I want to uh, keep this month reading TBR or the book TBR as realistic as possible. So, here this book that is Milk and Honey, which is written by the Rupi Kaur, and Rupi Kaur is one of the uh, famous, uh, what it a uh, famous uh, person uh, who, whose writings and whose pa- uh, poems which are very feministic and I wanted to read her poems since many days. Rupi Kaur is one of the famous, um, uh, she is what it says, she is a person who write about the poems which is related to the woman, which is related to the heart, which is related to the love, which is related to the loss, which is related to the uh, lot of the things, lot of the things which are able to directly connect with your heart and uh, let me uh, read her one of her poem which is I think which is very good. What is stronger than the woman heart which shatters over and over? and still lives so i think uh, that is a quite good poem this type of the poems when i am scrolling the instagram there i read her poems like this so i wanted to read her complete poem collection so i took this book that is milk and honey Uh, milk and honey is a collection of the poetry and prose about survival about the experience of the violence abuse love laws and femininity it is split into four chapters and each chapter serves a different purpose so that's it i'm going to read i just hope (laughs) this time i finished whole reading TBR, my TBR. This time I'm able to finish whole of a book list which is in my TBR. I just okay. Now the next book is Looking for Alaska. Okay, if you are someone who is fan of Fall in the Stars, that is written by the John Green, and there is a film in Hindi also in the Hollywood also, and uh, that film in Hindi which is. Uh, the main actor is Sushant Singh Rajput and in Bollywood I don't know I am not a, quite a person who engage with watching the films and I am not a fan of a um, lot of the movies I watch a movies when I think I want to I really want to watch that movie like uh, just a few days ago uh, I watched the Kantara before that I watched I think El Canto uh, before that, I watched that Encanto movie. So, like that, if I think I want to watch that movie, I definitely watch that. Now, back to the point. Uh, the next book I wanted to read, as I said, Looking for Alaska. Okay, Looking for Alaska follows the novel main character and narrates Miles Halter or a budget to boarding school where he goes to seek a great perhaps the famous last words of Frankois rebels. Thought the before section of the novel, Miles and his friendship with the colonial Martin, Alaska Young and the Thakumi Hokihoto grow very close and the section culminates in Alaska death. Okay. This story has death. Okay. I don't know what it is. I always feel that that is like a real a real end for the any story and the story which have the death and death as a center point I like them damn much so much that um, I 
can't uh, stop myself from reading such a books as you can say uh, you can take a book that is the sailor who fell from the grace of the sea that book which disturbed me very much i think in every video i talk about this book it this book disturbed me too much too much but still i want to say you should read that okay and uh, i don't know anything John Green writing style. I don't know anything about them, but uh, he is a quite famous author. And I also wanted to uh, make a, a writing routine of the John Green. And when you want to make a something about that author, before that I want to read his work. So I am uh, going for the looking for Alaska. And the last book that is. The Wind Up Bird Chronicle. Okay, here I have book and <laughs> I written the uh, list of the books you can see here. Okay, and uh, here let me what it. Okay, The Wind Up Bird Chronicle. The Wind Up Bird Chronicle, which is written by the Haki Murakami. Oh my God, this is the second book I read. Uh, which is written by the Haki Murakami, and I am not able to complete this book. Why? because i felt it is creepy because i felt it is creepy at the same time i felt that it is disturbing me and it is violating my peace and uh, it is so disturbing i can't tell myself and it has a book one book two book three i think i'm able to finish book one part one, or you can say part one and half of that and there are some scenes especially uh, there is a well and and that well has something like that and he goes there there cat missing and everything is okay but at the end there is a something superstitious is going around that and i'm not able to uh, cope up with that situation and god as you say as uh, if you are a leader you know that uh, the sexual the sexual things in a haruki murakami books are uh, i don't know how to explain it make you feel disturbing and it is not a lot not romantic at all it make you feel scared okay and uh, about the harukami i like the thing uh, about how his opinions goes how his thoughts goes but at the same time you know, if you are in if you don't have that strong mindset it is going to disturb you and the i'm able to uh, explore the music especially jazz jazz music uh, through his novels um, uh, you can take a norwegian wood uh, norwegian wood and you can or norwegian wood or you can take this book window of chronicles and other book i think men without women okay men without women i am reading this uh, last month i am able to finish up of that where it is about the taxi driver who is a woman something like that story goes on and every book of his has the that jazz uh, music and uh, his recommendation is very good at the same time due to him i think due to him i am able to explore more music than before there are a now i think i am able to explore more things in my life uh, before okay books are not only those things which are telling you story they make you explore uh, they expose you towards the music they expose you towards the culture they expose you towards the society they expose you towards the other countries and uh, they expose you towards the humanity kindness compassion lot of the things that is why i always do tell you to tell you to read more and be compassionate and be kind whatever it is so anyway back to the video these all are the list of the books i am going to finish i have only 10 books oh no eight books the first one is the bell jar second one is the girl who fell beneath the sea which is written by the alex ho the tale of the two cities babel sacrifice to the milk and honey poem collection looking for alaska and the 
the wind of the bird chronicle which is written by Haruki Murakami that's it and these all are the books which are in my TBR I just hope I'm able to finish this TBR list and I am able to if I'm able to finish these all eight books it will be great and as I said I take a 15 days holiday I just um, uh, I just hope I am able to finish but at the same time I have a lot of big work other than this I have to go somewhere and I have to do some work that's it and uh, uh, let me see I am able to finish or not anyway that's it this is the list of my books and I hope you are also reading books this month if you have any recommendation please recommend that books to me I am excited to read more books I am excited to know uh, more about the books so this is it okay this is it I will see you in the next video before that please share subscribe and comment it means me a lot and it motivates me to do more videos and I will see you in the next video until then take care and bye bye